What's going on guys, King Shratz here, back with another video on the channel. And today I got something I'm super excited about. It is something I hold near and dear to me. It is one of my favorite things to eat and I haven't done a mukbang on it yet for some unforeseen reason. But we did what we do best in New Jersey today. That means we took it to a diner, specifically one of my two favorite diners in my area. This is the Chit Chat Diner in New Jersey, Northern New Jersey. I forget which city it's actually in. It's either Hackensack or Maywood. One of the two, but it's somewhere on the street that's near me. How's that? <laughs> but this one I've been to a million times. They're a little more upscale than your average diner. They do some things that I don't see at normal diners, and I think I think you're going to really like the lineup that we got today. We got some old stuff that I love and some new stuff that I haven't tried before. We had to go with the tradition stuff with some of it. So, of course, we're going to start with the OG, the New Jersey special. This is what we do here. This is what I love. This is what it is. Right here, we have an order of disco fries. They're also known as Jersey fries. I never call them that. We call them disco fries. All they are are fries with cheese, mozzarella cheese to be specific, and gravy. You melt the mozzarella over the gravy. Look, I know it sounds crazy gravy on fries. It's not poutine. Poutine is a little bit different. It is similar, but it's not the same. Poutine has cheese curds. This uses mozzarella, but yes, they're in the same family. My Canadians that sometimes like to call me on say, it's poutine. It's not. I feel you, but it's not. It's it's not, okay? It, it, it's not. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. But let me go to another thing we got here. Peanut butter and jelly stuffed French toast on challah bread. Nice, thicky slices of bread. It is so good. Um, I used to get this actually with Nutella and peanut butter, but I went with peanut butter and jelly. I've never had peanut butter and jelly, but there's no way that can't be good. It looks like a wonderful sandwich to me. Of course, near and dear, this is one of my OG things I always get at this diner. I actually kind of made it up on the menu. I can take credit for that. I don't know if they'll give me credit for that, but it's true. We've got buffalo chicken wrap. It is a very simple thing. It's got breaded chicken, breaded buffalo chicken, some bacon, some melted cheddar inside of a nice tortilla wrap. It is so good. Side of onion rings because I already got fries and you know me, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button first of all, the like button, all that cringy YouTube stuff. But one of the things that I do love when it comes to any kind of restaurant, if you serve onion rings, I have to try them. I don't think I've actually ever tried their onion rings to be honest, but we're gonna be very, very excited to do that. And this is a new one here. I used to get nachos from here all the time, but they do them a little different now. We've got pulled pork nachos, tri-colored nacho chips, melted cheese, some wonderful succulent looking pulled pork, sour cream, Salsa, usually it comes in a big bowl, but obviously with the to-go boxes and things, it's not going to be as crazy because we've got to take it in transit, which means I probably dropped it like six times, I'm not going to lie. And we also ended it off with my favorite kind of cake. I love carrot cake. It is one of my favorite things. I never thought I'd like it, to be honest. I never tried carrot cake until I was like 19. And the first time I tried it, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so good. But it's got cream cheese frosting. They are huge slices of carrot cake they have here. I have had the carrot cake there. I haven't had it in a while, but it is always, always really good. I wasn't really going to get that, but when I saw it in the window, when you go to diners, they got a little window in the front with all like the baked goods, and that's how they get you. So I saw it, and I was like, yeah, let me throw in a carrot cake. Just let me let me get it. But anyway, that's the lineup. I'm super excited to have this. I don't really eat disco fries with a fork, so I'm not going to start today. You know what? We're not here to be pretty, but let me just show you what the vibe is. There's actually, and I hope I still have this picture, one of the first things that I did when I came home from college, every break, was I would go to the diner and I would sit there in my wonderful Ed Hardy shirt and I would have a plate of disco fries. I know the concept sounds crazy, the melted mozzarella is a little bit of gravy on there, but they're super, super delicious. I probably should have grabbed a different piece of the gravy, but it's not gonna matter. This just tastes like home. Let me get the fork out. You're not gonna be able to get a good bite without the fork. That melted mozzarella, that brown gravy, anybody from Jersey knows. You go to a diner, you get disco fries. Probably have told this story. I think I had disco fries once, but I made them myself. The term disco fries actually comes from one of the things that we do in New Jersey after we go out is we go to diners. After you go out and have a good time, you go to the diner. And... In the 70s when disco was popular, a lot of those guys would come in, and girls, would come in and ask for fries with cheese and gravy. That is the supposed story. It's an urban legend. No one really knows, but that, I believe that is where it comes from. So they started calling them disco fries, and the name just, you are not escaping me, stuck. It is just brown gravy, not like turkey gravy, unexplainably good gravy, and cheese. And after a night out, they taste like heaven. They taste like heaven either way. 
the gravy, and it all depends on the diner. You gotta have good gravy. They do. And I'll be doing another diner soon. And we will show you theirs because theirs are actually my favorite, to be honest. These are my second favorite. But look at all that. That's all you need to see. Get in here for the real thing. Look at this. This is this is the nucleus, and this is where you get all the yum yum. See that? Mm. Mm. That's the one. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. So good. What are we saying? I can easily eat like four of those. I've done it. And this is before I used to eat the amount of food that I eat now. But, you know, just one more, one more. I'm just going to eat the whole thing right here. See the cheese pull? That's what you want. I don't know, going to fall on my face in it. I don't have a napkin. I don't care. Mm. Mm. So good. The gravy soaks in those potatoes. It's just, you ever come to Jersey? Y'all want to come visit? Hang out with your boy? We're going to go to the diner and eat some disco fries. If you go to Jersey, and y'all go to the diner, and you're going to disco fries, I'm going to really question the person that you went on a food guide with. Because there are more diners in New Jersey than any other state. I know we had the record for a while. I'm pretty sure we do because there's a diner every mile where I live. And that's literal. Every mile you can go to a diner and they all serve things. You can get breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you want. And that's why it's good because you can... I have gravy in my nose. I'm so sorry. But that's why I love it so much because no matter what time of day, if you want breakfast, lunch, 24 hours a day, the diners are open and they're always there to serve you. The people there are always really cool. And there's a lot of nostalgia to it because it has like an old time feel. A lot of them are getting modernized now, but they still didn't lose that modern or that like retro kind of feel to it. You know, diners just have that certain vibe. And I just love them. As you can tell, I get really excited. I want to get into these two. This, the peanut butter and jelly French toast. Nice, thick, cut, challah bread, French toast. Gooey peanut butter and jelly in the middle. And from what it looks like, they overdid the peanut butter, which is how I like mine. Now, what you want to do with these, and I got to open this up. You need the syrup. Now, a lot of times people eat these with knife and fork. I'm not really a knife and fork guy. You know, I'm a blue collar dude, so we like to go without it. So what we're going to do is we're going to spill some syrup on your camera right about now. Get that syrup right there. Oh, look at that right there. This is going to be the bite. I'm telling you. Oh, the vibe is so... Look, look, look. Oh, goodness. Look at this. I'm sorry if you're allergic to peanuts. The bread itself is so buttery, but it still has that good French toast, cinnamon, nutmeg flavor to it. My goodness. The peanut butter is melted. It's on my face, isn't it? We're just going no napkin today. Screw it. The peanut butter is melting. There's just enough jelly to keep it moist. And you get the sweetness from that syrup. It is just A+. Plus. I used to get the Nutella version. Never got the peanut butter and jelly. But it is just... You guys gotta come to Jersey. <laughs> People argue about where the best food in the country is. It's arguable. I'm not here to debate that. But when it comes to diners, we just know what we're doing. And we've just got a different culture in unto its own. And everybody here has a favorite diner. That's just the thing. Mm. That is so good. That is so good. <laughs> you have no idea. That, that's like... I can't even... I'm not, I don't like making definitive sentences, but... I will say... That is up there with some of the better French toasts I've had, bar none. And that's, it's all about the bread. And there's a lot of good bakeries around here. They all get their stuff delivered fresh. They don't make their own bread in the house, but most diners in Jersey will get it delivered to them every morning. Um, whether it's the cake, I know they don't make the cake too. They get it delivered from good local bakeries, good bread always on all the sandwiches. And this right here, this, I still take credit for it. I don't care what anybody says is the buffalo chicken wrap. I got this, number one, because it's really good. And number two, I still say I invented it. I don't care what anybody says. And I'm going to tell you the story why. So much chicken. Meaty. I used to just get this and be good. 
and you get that spicy, and you get salty bacon, and that sharp cheddar in there. A lot of people like to use blue cheese, but I don't. And normally they come with waffle fries, which are actually really good too, but I don't want to get double fries. I don't know why I find that weird when you get like two different kinds of fries. Mm. Let me tell you a story. As I get into one of these onion rings. You can tell these are homemade too. They're not beer battered, but will they crunch? Yes. Mm. I can't take full credit. I didn't invent the whole thing. But here's the deal. Me and my best friend, you guys have seen me in other videos, not in a while, obviously with 2020, but one of the things we always did after we worked out, we went to this diner almost every day a week. Well, four to five days, sometimes seven, but we always ate after we worked out. So, on their menu, again, this is like five, seven years ago, they had a buffalo chicken sandwich. Very similar to this, but I was like a real bro when it came to working out, and I thought bread was bad for you. Clearly, that isn't the case now. And... I've been asked for a buffalo chicken sandwich in a wrap. Every time someone would hear it, they would be like, oh, you guys can do that? And they would order it. We went there so much that people kept requesting it. They put it on the menu. It's not like I asked for credit. Did they ever give me like some appetizers and stuff? You know, because we were there so much? Yeah. Again, it was a long time ago. I still took credit though. But super good. And I always ask for it with bacon. So now it's bacon. I'm not making that up. I swear. Somebody gonna say it's cat. I don't like. A good two years of ordering a wrap, and now I see it on the menu one day, and I was like, hmm. I don't care though. You know, I'm here to help. Let me just show you. Let me just show you. Let me just show you. Tri-colored nachos. Nice cheese. Sour cream. Salsa. Can you see that pulled pork in there? Look at that big chunk of pulled pork that I just picked out. That's good pulled pork. Mm. Let me show you. They don't skimp on it. You know, I'm a fan of that. Very flavorful. You can tell this has actually been taking a day to make. Nice pork shoulder. We used to get hmm. They used to have buffalo, no, barbecue chicken nachos. Which we ate all the time. It wasn't on the menu. I was going to order it today. But I saw pulled pork and I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, I said it just like that. Let me try these bad boys out. So there's melted cheddar on the top. It's not really melted anymore, obviously. Things always taste better when you eat in-house, but we move. Look at that pulled pork right there. Very good. The pork itself, you can make yourself a nice sandwich with that. See those shreds? I'm gonna try to get one from the nucleus. You don't know the nacho nucleus. We've talked about this before, but the nucleus is that center of the middle, which if you are, look, there's a lot of pork in here, bro. That's fantastic. It's the center of the nacho. Look at that, look at this, look at this chunk. Seriously. You never grab from the center if you're eating nachos with people. But since I'm alone, the nucleus is mine, doesn't matter. And there's just something about, that pork is phenomenal. It's really good. Mm. I'm trying to do. Let's do this. You know I always gotta invent stuff. So why not go with 
pulled pork and disco fries. Oh, that's next level. Oh, man. Oh, man, I gotta do it again. I gotta do it again. That just added something else because those soaked gravy fries with that pork. Everything's so rich. I tell you this all the time. It's, it's like one of the most running themes now, and I don't realize that I say it. But now I'm starting to because I've been recording a few of these. You know, we're a couple months in now, and Food just brings me back places. And this was my post-college spot. Me and my best friend, my bro, we would go to the gym. And we probably ate this whole menu twice over. And it just brings me back to that vibe. You know, things were a lot more simple back then. You know, I still lived at home back then, but things were just much more simple. I don't have to worry about all this adulting. And it was just, I worked part time, I lifted weights, and I ate food. And then I parted on the weekends. I only do two of those now. <laughs> and it ain't partying. So it just brought me back to that vibe. You know? Way less tattoos back then, too. I feel like I was much more clean cut. I still had the lip ring. My God. We used to get, between me, him, my other friend, the big bowl of nachos as an appetizer, and we all got whatever. I usually got this wrap. Every once in a while when I was feeling festive, I got this. But it was with Nutella instead of jelly. The Nutella is good too, but this peanut butter and jelly just adds to the next level. Let me get a little more. Mm. That's so good. Back then, I was listening to a lot of Drake. He had the fade though. He didn't have to like, you know, like the afro with the part. No. This was fade Drake with the baby face. You know, the, the best I ever had Drake. That, that was that one. He was like still. New. He's grown so much over the years, man. It's insane. I gotta get into this too. Carrot cake is one of my favorite cakes. This is one of my favorite carrot cakes. Just, I'm gonna pick the whole thing up for this one. Look in here. Look how big this cake is. And look how much cream cheese and pecans. Okay, I know somebody's gonna tell me it's pecan, and I'm not knocking you. Okay, caramel, caramel. But I say pecan. And just get in here. I can't even, this is so dense. Just get, I love carrot cake. And this carrot cake right here is a whole vibe. Top notch. I will eat that whole thing with my hands. We're not gonna do it today because we don't do eating challenges after we've done eating challenges. But so much cream cheese frosting, pecans, pecans. And you get those spices. It's funny, carrot cake, you don't taste any carrot in it. I know there is carrot in carrot cake, but. I never ate it for so long because the sound of carrot cake does not sound appetizing. Like, who the heck would want to eat something called carrot cake? So as a kid, people are like, oh, I mean carrot cake. And I'm like, what? Like, why would you want to eat a cake with carrots? You know what I mean? But it does not taste like carrot. It is just, it's an institution at this point. I've eaten a lot of carrot cake in my life, and this one is up there. That's another thing that I get from every place if they have it. The other thing I alluded to before was actually pecan pie. It was my favorite pie, but a lot of places don't serve it. What they do serve is key lime pie, which I absolutely love too. When you get the big chunk of key lime pie, and it's got 
like the lime slice on the top, and it has real key limes, I can taste the difference. I'm, I'm fat. I'm going to tell you. So, when I taste that key lime, yes, there are key limes from the Florida Keys. Makes sense, right? I'm not being sarcastic. Some people may not know that, but I can taste the difference in what I do. That's like real deal stuff. My father used to always get key lime pie. And it's weird because the older I get, the more I turn into my parents. I feel like most of the people do that. So, I really like key lime pie now. Pecan pie is right up there too, but places don't serve pecan pie around here. Like, the best pecan pie I've had was like down in Texas. They have their own pecans. And also, the pecan thing, listen. If you say pecan, okay, first of all, that sounds very bougie. But that's okay. I say pecan. It's not it's not that big of a deal. I know people like to get at people over pronunciation of words. But at the end of the day, I'm not the only person who says pecan. And if you are a pecan person, you're not the only person who says pecan. I think caramel sounds ridiculous. But I'm not gonna judge you for saying it, because other people say it too. Like it doesn't mean you're wrong. It means that's what you grew up around. But there's an A in caramel. Caramel. It's just you know. I understand. It's all Gucci. Like, it's all love. We're all love. It doesn't matter. People seem to get really out of bent out of shape over, over the trivial stuff. Mm. But here, if you're a part of the channel, thank you. We like to say things like we move. Because it's not that big of a deal. There's a lot bigger things in life over the pronunciation of a nut. Don't you think? Maybe you don't. But that's how I feel. I try not to sweat the small things. So if you want to say pecan, fine. If you like pickles, I don't know how. They're disgusting. But fine. Just don't come near me with pickles. You know? Another true story. Actually, there's two. We didn't go to this diner a lot of times. And most diners, they always give you coleslaw and pickles, and they put it in the center of the table. <laughs> and I always ask them not to. But it's the busboys who bring it, not the waiter. So a lot of times the busboy will bring it and I just stare at one of my friends until they move it. Where Mark Kryptonite. Story number two about pickles, and this is 100% true again. I don't know who would make this stuff up. When I was about 10 years old, my cousin, my cousins and I were really close growing up. We always spent holidays and together. Now that we're older, you know, we're dispersed all over the United States. Um, one of them actually serves in the Navy, so, you know, he's at sea a lot. But when we were younger, we were always together. And he thought it was funny one day. Because on holidays, a lot of times, we made potato salad. Potato salad, traditionally, in my house, came with pickles. But not mine. Mine came without. He thought it was funny to switch. My mom always had a, a set-away Tupperware. Um with caps, you know, like the different color ones. And mine was always like marked with my name on it, so I knew not to eat the other ones. My well, cousin thought it was a good idea to switch the caps. So we got to the table and I opened it and he's just sitting there. I didn't see it at first, but I should have saw something was up because he was kind of giggling, but I didn't know what he was laughing at. I figured maybe somebody told him a joke. They didn't. Anyway, I decided to dig into my potato cup. He switched the caps. They had, uh, what do you call those? The um, pickles, relish, ugh, whatever. And I bit into it and I immediately tasted it and I projectile vomited all over him. Oh, right on him, right on your face. Mm hmm. It wasn't laughing anymore. Yeah. You're lucky you can't see this because I know you the way it's seeing stuff, but I'm, when you come back, I'm going to play this for you because you thought it was funny. I still won't eat potato salad because of it. Because I just get flashbacks. And he never messed with my food again. That is a true story of what happened. It also happened once in McDonald's in high school. I asked him for a cheeseburger. Just a regular cheeseburger with no pickles. And I was stupid. It's my fault. I should have checked. You always check. And I didn't. So I bit the McDonald's cheeseburger. There was a pickle on it. And I bit right into it. You know that? Ugh. 
and I projectile vomited all over the table. That's how much I don't like pickles. And it's even worse than the diners. So they serve you them real long ones with the, like they got like the bumps on them and look like lizards. Oh God, and they smell. I can't have them on the table, man. Every girl I've ever dated, if they like pickles, they weren't allowed to eat them anywhere near me. And if I smelled it, like I wouldn't go near them. I, I, it was for their own benefit because I'll throw up on you. So as I got older, I just decided not to date anybody who eats pickles. It's safer. It's like, People worry about other stuff like, uh, you know, maybe how tall someone is or, you know, their body type, their hair color, eye color. Nope. You boy here, I worry about do you eat pickles? That's on my questionnaire. Are you willing to give up these pickles for you boy? And if you're not, oh man, it's so good. I just don't think that you're the white right one for me. I'm sorry. I'm just saving you a lot of heartbreak because I'll dump you over pickles. And then when your friends ask you, what happened? You guys are doing so good. And you go, I ate a pickle. I don't want that to happen. So we just avoid that now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This food is so good. The thing with me is obviously I had an eating challenge yesterday. Um, I didn't eat the day before. I might start reversing that, but I don't like going into eating challenges with like food in my stomach so I might have to like tweak this I, I don't mind um, usually on Sundays when we do these I, I don't finish anywhere near it and then I go give it uh, I drive over to like my family's house they still live in that area so I just drive over there and say here you want some food um, they're always cool with that so people were asking what I do with my food when I don't finish I give it away um, I'll start texting my friends <laughs> you know I got some extra food you'd be surprised how many people want it you know they're not paying for it it's free so that's what that is but I'm going to stop eating because, well, I like arteries and they shouldn't be clogged, even though I feel good. Had a long workout yesterday. Had a long workout today. Then I had a long workout on Friday where I didn't eat on Friday. So, balance. Mmm, that pulled pork is phenomenal though. If you're in the area, anybody in my area, check the diner out. They got some good stuff. They got a large menu. And I have a lot of stuff that most diners don't have, which is why I like this diner. A little more upscale, a little more in price. Like this buffalo chicken wrap is like eleven dollars. You know, if you go to like a regular diner, with greasy spoon, you're not going to get this kind of stuff, and it'll probably cost you like eight. So that's the difference. Get the carrot cake too. Tell them I sent you, or don't. Either way, I still love you. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. Um, I'm going to go take a nap. Very long day we had today. Very long day I have tomorrow, and we're back onto it. Tomorrow we'll be back in the kitchen. More home cooked stuff. Now, I love you guys. Now, I probably shouldn't be eating this, but we ate all the French toast. I have to. Anyway, we'll be back tomorrow. More content. I love you. The hand signs. They're just on YouTube now. Whatever. <laughs>